up YouTube Ronnie Sweet and Natural and in this tutorial I'll show you guys how to retouch and color grade faster using my retouching essentials pack and also my color grading or skin tone lats in Photoshop. So let me show you guys how to do that and the importance of purchasing and buying these lats for your skin retouching and color grading. So this is the image you're going to be dealing with for this tutorial. And the very first thing you have to notice, I've already cleaned or removed blemishes from this image, most of them, I should say. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going first come and I'm going to come under the layers and I'm just going to uh, merge these layers. So I'm just going to merge the layers. So with my retouching essentials pack, I'm going to be playing my actions to speed up my skin retouching. I want to show you guys how fast this can be done in Photoshop using my retouching essentials and my medium to dark skin tone lights and the download link is going to be in the description of this very video rather so let's just click in and start doing that so first come to the actions and if i told you don't have this right here simply come to window and come to actions and it's going to open for you this so since this is a 16-bit image i have two actions for frequency separation that is the 8-bit and 16-bit so I'm going to select this and play my 16-bit action and for this case or for this very image I'm going to be using so you have to move this radius up to that point when you're losing out on the textures in this image so I'm just going to show you guys so I'm just going to click right here and zoom out so move this radius up to a point when you're losing out on those details in the skin area so I'm just going to move this up to that point so I think at around 8 I've lost out on the details in the skin area so hit ok and it is going to create for you everything and all those layers so it is done separating the frequencies of this particular image so I'm going to come to and select the low frequency layer and come to my uh, mixer brush tool just like that then the setting make sure it is a clean one then select the second option because you don't want the brush to be loaded after we are trying to even out the skin tones Wetness is 9, load 75, mix 90, flow 100. Make sure sample alias is not checked. So make sure that this box is not checked right here. And because you only want to blend the colors in the image or the skin tones, which are in the low frequency layer. So now zoom in a little bit. And you can use the brackets on the keyboard, the box brackets, to either increase or decrease on the size of your mixer brush tool. And when using a mixer brush tool, don't over zoom in the image. So make sure you do that and now start blending and as you're blending you're going to notice that we are going to be blending the mid-tones alone the highlights alone and the shadows alone and the way we are using a brush tool you are basically left clicking and dragging over the skin and reducing on the size depending on the area we are trying to even out or the skin tones we are trying to even out in those areas so let's just do this because uh, this is not an in-depth tutorial and for those interested in how I remove blemishes I'm going to put the link for you guys right above on the card above here so that you can learn how to clean up skin or remove blemishes from your images during skin retouching and that is going to be a detailed video about how to remove blemishes from your images in Photoshop so let's just do this and you're going to be done uh, with the skin retouching in just a few so let's see a before and after so far so turn this off and you can see a before and after with just a few strokes of a brush so i'm going to come and select uh, the low frequency layer rather and continue evening out the skin tones in this image so turn back the black and white and continue blending or evening out on the skin tones in this particular image just like that and now come down here and just continue evening out so the very first step I usually do for skin retouching using frequency separation is using the mixer brush tool to even out the skin tones or harmonize the skin tones even more and have that nice and smooth transitions uh, within the skin tones of the images I'm trying to uh, be retouching. So I'm just going to zoom out and now come to the chin area and continue evening out at those tones right down here on the chin area. So as you're doing this, you have to always make sure that you don't over zoom in and start evening out or continue evening out on the skin tones in those particular areas. So like I said, you can always use, do without the use of 
all the help of the black and white layer because uh, this layer is going to really just guide you or even now the skin tones so let's say before and after so far so this is the before after before after with just a few minutes into the retouching process so just come and even out on the skin tones just like that so we're going to come right down here to the neck area and we do the same on those particular areas so you're just going to come to the neck area and simply click and start evening out on the tones in the neck area of this particular image so just do that and after we have done all this you're going to notice that you're going to be doing all this within the shortest time possible and we're just going to have a very nice and retouched image at the end of this very uh, tutorial so let's just do this so let's say before and after so far so this is the image before and after before after so the next thing I prefer to do after using the mixer brush tool, I come and get my lasso tool and simply come and select this area of the skin just like that. And now when I select this skin area, I prefer to come to filter and come to blur and come back to Gaussian blur. And now move this radius up to the point when I'm feeling like getting the right skin details in this particular image. So I'm just going to go with around a radius of around 24 can do. So the other trick is just multiply the radius you had when you're creating your frequency separation by 3. So I had 8 initially, so 8 by 3 is 24. Simply come and hit OK and now come to the other areas. So this is more of a refining a method for all we had done using the mixer brush tool. So we're just trying to perfect the areas we may have accidentally missed out when we're using the mixer brush tool to even out the skin tones. So just right click and come to Gaussian Blast. So we're going to be applying that effect onto the rest of the image just like that. So just right click and come back to Gaussian Blast. So come right here above the lips and do the same and apply that effect onto that area and come this side and also do the same and apply that effect. So on this be below the eye, come and do the same, apply that. So you can see like it is really fine tuning the image within just the shortest time possible and this is going to be a time saving a tip for you if at all you get these actions to enable you retouch even faster. So you can see uh, the before and after, before, after, before, after. So what we want to do, we want to do some little bit of dodging and burning to this image. So in order to do dodging and burning, remember it is more of enhancing the highlights and the shadows of a particular image. So you're just going to come down here and you're going to come to the dodge and burn global action and just select it and now play it just like that. And you can see it has created these layers for us. So remember dodging and burning is more of contouring or adding shape or dimension to a particular image. So you're just going to come try and right click and get the brush tool. Make sure the opacity and the flow are at 100%. So you just want to add shape or dimension to the image using dodging and burning. So in order to dodge and burn, make sure I, rather the opacity, make sure you turn down the opacity because you don't want it to apply the effect like on a full range. So I think at around 9% it is okay. And now we're going to start enhancing the highlights and the shadows. So come and start painting on the highlights. So make sure that white is on the foreground and start continue all enhancing the highlights just like that so just paint over that and you will notice that it's going to be applying that effect or adding shape or dimension to the highlights and the shadows of this image so come and do the same for the burning so for burning we'll be burning the shadows in the image so just come and burn like that and you can come and simply paint over this side of the nose to add shape or dimension so this is more of like a contouring process or step uh, in retouching the images. So you can see now the before and after, before, after. We have just added shape or dimension to this image using a dodging and burning action. So the next thing we want to do is simply come into the red reduction action and simply select it. And you can simply play it. So when you play it, you're going to set as remove the reds from the image, but that's too much. So come to the opacity and you can reduce or drop down the effect of the opacity of the red reduction action and now after doing that the next thing we want to do 
is darkening the black. So come to the darkened black action and simply play that action and you're going to notice that it has darkened the blacks. But that is too much. So come the opacity and reduce or drop down the opacity of uh, that darkened black. So you can see the before and after for this action. So the next thing we want to do, we want to do color grading to this image. So in order to do color grading, you're going to simply come to the color lookup and now I already loaded my lights into this software. So I'm just going to come down here to load 3D light and I'm going to come all the way down to the RP Alpha pack. So this is what I named my retouching all my skin tone lights. So it is Ronix Photography Alpha. So let me see what one is going to do to the image. So you can see with just a single click, it has already color graded this image. So if at all you feel it too so much, simply come and reduce on the opacity of the color grading. So you can see the before and the after, before, after. So let's see the alpha 2 and its effect. So you can see the alpha 3, uh, alpha 4. So depending on the look you're going in for, these are going to really transform your images to a whole new level. So alpha 9. So for this case, I'm just going to go with the alpha 1. And I think an opacity of around 54 can do for this image. So I'm just going to zoom out and show you guys the before and after for the color grading. You can see the before, after, before, after. So right now we just want to add that whitening effect to the eyes of the model. So come back to my actions and I'm going to do or play my eye and teeth whitening action and just simply play it. Then come to my brushes and make sure white is on the foreground because we want to paint on a black mask. And now come to the opacity and I'm going to turn it to 100%, smoothing at zero and the flow 100%. Simply hit enter and zoom into the eyes and start painting over the eyes or the white area of the eye to do or apply the whitening effect on those areas. So just come and paint over just like that. And you can see that we are just whitening as the eye of the model in a more natural and a realistic way. So this is also part of my retouching essentials pack. So if at all you want to download or purchase this, it is really on a discount. So right now you should download it because it is going to be helping you guys to transform your skin retouching to a whole new level. So let's say before and after for the eye whitening. So you can see before after before after we have just whitened the eyes using uh, this and you can simply drop down the opacity if at all you feel that it has done too much to your images so let's just add in a little bit of contrast to this image so come to the brightness and contrast and simply up or increase on the contrast of this image just like that so let's see the overall before and after for this very image so I'm just going to go all the way down and hold down the alternate and click on the background so you can see before, after, before, after. So this has been a story about how to retouch using my retouching essentials pack and how to color grade using my medium to dark skin tone lights. And if at all you'd love to purchase or buy these lights, you can simply check in the description of this video so that you can download and buy, so that you can start using and uh, speeding up your retouching process in Photoshop. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet another trend. Don't forget to keep practicing, keep color grading and keep creating.